All right, legends, welcome back to part two where we're gonna talk about the recipe for our delicious five gallon batch of brown ale. Okay, so let's look at our grain bill really quick. Now you might wanna pause the video right now and write this stuff down. Okay, so where are we gonna get all this stuff? Well, this is me heading into my favorite brew store, Mother Earth located in Vista, right up hop highway, highway 78. Okay, so first things first, I'm gonna barter some carne asada tacos to the guy behind the counter to see if he will trade for grains. He is happy and gladly accepts. Okay, so we need eight total grains for this recipe. Jeez, that's a lot. Okay, so first things first, we need five pounds, four ounces of two row pale malt. This is our base malt used by many professional brewers. Five pounds, four ounces. We'll try to get within a tenth of over under 5.4 okay uh the second one we need two pounds of victory malt this is going to help out with the nutty flavor that we're going for our third grain one pound brown malt fourth grain 12 ounces of golden naked oats this might be the only grain your brew store won't have. If they don't have this, just substitute it with 12 ounces of flaked oats instead. Fifth, five, no, I'm sorry, fifth, eight ounces of caramel crystal malt 60L or lava bond, which is pretty much just the color. Our sixth grain, we're gonna need four ounces of aromatic malt. Seventh grain, we're gonna need four ounces of caramel crystal malt 30L. And last but not least, we're gonna need 3.2 ounces of chocolate malt, which is super dark. And most importantly, make sure that they mill it for you. If you forget to do this, you will end up drinking very low alcohol content beer. Your beer's gonna have like, it's gonna be 2% or something, two or 3%, it's not gonna be the 5% that we're going after. You should end up close to about 10 to 20 pounds of grain. And after your grains are milled, brew them within the next couple of days. I wouldn't wait more than a week. This stuff goes bad, just like leaving bread out. Okay, now onto the hops. Very, very simple. This is not a hoppy beer. Two ounce, two, Two ounces of Fuggles. This is an awesome English hop that has been making brown ales for hundreds of years. Very low in alpha acid. For the yeast, we can cut corners. This style of beer that we're going after isn't really affected so much by the yeast. The beer style we're going after is mainly affected by the grain bill. Okay, for the water. If this is your first time brewing all grain, I would just buy 10 gallons of spring water. Maybe you can get them on sale at a grocery store or Walmart or Target for around 10 bucks, a dollar a gallon. I use this glacier water. I fill it up with 10 gallons for about $3.50. This water is reverse osmosis or RO. So I will have to add minerals like gypsum and calcium carbonite so my beer doesn't taste too watered down. But for the sake of doing all grain right the first time, just spend an extra $5 and buy 10 gallons of spring water. All right, legends, well, good luck with this, and I'll see you in the next video where we talk about all-grain equipment.